Hey, how's it going friends? My name is Angel Alex and welcome back to the channel. Before this video starts, I actually want to talk to you guys about something super exciting. My new partnership with HyperX. I am super excited to be working with them in order to grow our channel and get you guys the best offers and discounts and gaming accessories. I actually use a HyperX headset for those of you that haven't noticed. I'm sure you've seen me wear this a bunch, but maybe you're a little bit curious about it. Well, if you're an aspiring content creator, streamer, maybe just a gamer on a bit of a budget, you guys should definitely check these bad boys out. They're called the Cloud Stingers. They were and still are my first ever gaming headset. So I've actually had these guys since the beginning of our channel and they've they never let me down. They are super comfortable. They never hurt my ears. I know that's kind of an issue with these types of headphones, but no matter what, they seem to never hurt my ears even after wearing them for a long period of time. Not only that, they're noise canceling and they sound great. Like I said, if you guys are interested in any of the products, check the links down in the description. I'm really looking forward to hooking you guys up with some more offers and discounts from HyperX. Thank you guys so, so much. Without you guys, I would not be in this position and I'm just, I'm super grateful. All right, well, that's all for now. Enjoy the video. Alrighty guys, we are back with some more of Mafia 3 Definitive Edition. Last episode, we took out the baker with uh, Burke, Nikki Burke, and I guess, I don't know what his first name is, but Burke. <laughs> Uh, took out a couple of the other racket bosses and now, uh, I think we have to go meet up with Vito and talk about killing Greco, I think? Let me, let me see. Yes, get Michael Greco. After all the shit you've stirred up in River Row, Vito's got in line, got a line on Greco's whereabouts. Alright, so, we finally stirred up enough shit in River Row to now we can finally kill, uh, Greco with Vito. So let's go ahead and head over there. Look at my little steward little car. Get out of my car. I'm my car, bitch. All right. Let's go meet up with our boy, Vito. Alrighty. Is this him right here? Oh, our boy, Vito. Because we're not building at the end of the block. A lot of whoas in here. He's probably face down a pussy right now. <laughs> what? You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front. You take the back. Tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. Oh, shit. Oh. God, suck. Oh, come on, back to the car. You drive. Is that I'll my car? This. Fuck, if that little prick gets away. Ha! Ha! Oh, let's go, bitch. Oh, this song's so good. I'm probably gonna have to get rid of it. Is that? How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? I was about to say, I was He's like, a little fuck, fuck that's how. All right, let's go. That's God a great damn it. start. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill a little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, Woo! this is the next best goddamn thing. Shit, Boy, shit, take it. shit, 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 shit. Hey, 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 stick with him. I'm trying, I'm trying to crash. Uh, once I'm done with Greco, you cocksuckers are next. Oh, they're shooting my damn tires, you bitch. No way, you fucks! Greco's mine! God damn it. Get him off my freaking back, Vito. They're shooting all my damn tires. We're gonna Don't have you lose sight of this fuck, Lincoln? Yes, okay, let's get out of the damn, damn car. Come on, let's get a different, different car, different car, different car, different car. Different car, different car, different car. Different car, different car. <laughs> Hurry up, in the car, in the car, in the car, Vito, in the car, in the car, Vito. Come on, come on, get in. In. Light it and throw it. Oh. We try that again. Vito agreed to work with Lincoln no? on one condition: that he bring him Michael Greco. When Greco escaped, Vito backed out. Wait, what? That was supposed to happen? Okay, no, restart. <laughs> okay, I was like, he wouldn't get the damn car. It's not my fault. Point taken. All right. We're on his ass. Oh wait, she's like oh one. Yeah, bitch. Don't shoot my car, Beto. Fuck. I ain't making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. He's running. There you go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Switching out ammo. Get out of here. Get rid of this bitch. Where the all right, all of his men are dead. We're good. Fuck! 
Oh, God damn it! The fuck are you? You're. Let's get him the fuck out of here. Nightmare. Cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. All right, we're good. Oh shit. Suspicious individual in vehicle. Officers oh, investigating. It's not one thick. The fucking cops are on our ass. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. We out. Vicinity. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. We still got him on our ass. All right. We're good. All right. We're okay. <laughs> Let's head back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, please. I didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't... I don't... Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpetbagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. Hmm... <laughs> oh, oh. You want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried to know about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Leo, huh? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's. You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Damn. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I swear it. <laughs> Look, I, I told you what you wanted to know. You're going to let me go now, right? <laughs> yeah. Have fun. Yeah, sure. Oh. Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Yeah, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. She talked to us, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. <laughs> Gross. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. Ah, this motherfucker. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You pay me what's fucking old! You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. But hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. Well, what do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. <laughs> Sounds boring as fuck. 
It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. Now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, nicks, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. What you got? Lincoln Clay is still alive. They didn't know. Fuck me. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> All right, sign the veto. All right, man. That's how we do things. All right. Got an optional um, mission unlocked and a new story mission unlocked. Call it sit down. All right. All right, look at that. I got my car back, but I think I'm going to stick with the... Uh, yeah, I think I'll stick with Can I get a new the vehicle Stuart Little Hi. car. I'll get her out to you right away. All right, boys, here we are. Whose house is this? <laughs> are we just meeting here? Got Burke. I'm assuming we're gonna get Cassandra and Vito in here as well. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. That. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking oh, problem. All right, this, this is this great. Time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot-licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. I'll lay out, chill the fuck out. <laughs> It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Ooh, Either fall in him. line or get the fuck out. Just know. Tell him, Lincoln. The second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano. Tell him, Lincoln. Tell him. Cut all this little shit out. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. Here we go. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's say we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. <laughs> Cassandra's <laughs> right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over, and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Sounds like a fucking plan. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Ah, uh, Donovan. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? He's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so... Once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational. 
Greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. What's up, boy? Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Oh, yeah. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam. All right, what now? The map has additional missions available. Met up with Donovan, meet up with Donovan to continue growing after Marcano or complete additional agenda and trafficking missions for your underbosses and through their lieutenants. Completing agenda and trafficking missions net missions nets you extra cash and increases an underboss's loyalty. Press square on the map to select one of the Donov one of Donovan's missions or one of the optional agenda and trafficking missions. Racing. Oh, we unlocked racing. Cool. First events. Gotcha. All right. All right, so we got three story chapters here. Uh, all for Donovan, it looks like. Oh, no, all from Donovan. Well, let's start in the order then. The dead stay gone. Meet with Donovan. Donovan's waded through the muck to learn about the rackets in Barclay Mills. All right. Looks like we're going to be doing the same sort of thing, just in a different part of town. Okay, actually, where are we? Okay, yeah. The closest, we'll go the closest one, actually. Let's go with the downtown one. Alrighty, guys. Here we are. Talk with Donovan, I guess. Get some intel. Oh. This part of town's run by a man named Tony DeRazio. From what I was able to piece together, he's a real fucking weirdo. Some kind of savant when it comes to numbers. Then he must be the one who runs Lou Marcano's books. Runs his books, launders his money. Hell, he even manages Lou's relationships with city officials. It's Tony's job to make sure their asses stay greased. How do I get to him? Well, that's where things get interesting. Tony lives in the penthouse on the top floor of the Royal Hotel. Elevator access is restricted, and the rest of the hotel is crawling with Tony's goons. Well, he can't stay up there all the time. I'm gonna need a schedule for when he comes and goes. I've been watching this cocksucker for a month now, and he's left exactly one time. That was because one of his men fucked up. He took a pipe to the poor bastard's left arm. Well, it looks like he's got a front business he uses to issue bribes and lawn to lose money. And another one that soaks up funds from the city. I hit him. He overreacts. Then I get my opening. And fuck up things between him and Lou in the process. Be careful with this one. Just because Tony's a goddamn spastic doesn't mean he won't cut your balls off if given the chance. <laughs> All right. Really? Tramp. <laughs> All right. God damn it. Okay, good. That song's gone. Davis, that song was playing for a while. I work in the city clerk's office, and your friend said you could help with this guy blackmailing me. What kind of juice makes you someone worth blackmailing? My office approves new projects under development. Uh, I fucked up, cheated on my wife, and this guy, Jimmy Kavar, filmed it. Come to find out the girl worked for Kavar, too. And now he owns you. He's forcing me to rubber stamp phony building projects and cash the checks for his company, Kavar Construction. Probably seen the signs over where they're building the new city hall. Thing is, 
Caval doesn't really come around unless there's a problem. Don't worry. There we go. I'm pretty good at causing people problems. Some of his men hang out around downtown. Look, I ain't a bad guy. I, I just made a mistake is all. Keep your head down, Lenny. I'll pay Caval's men a visit. See what they know. Caval's people will know more about what he's doing than I will. All right. All right, so we're going to start causing some problems. We're going to start off with uh, interrogating Ka Kavar's foreman. I hope I'm saying that right. He literally just said it. But yeah, we're going to start start there. All righty. We got to destroy. Yeah, we got to we can destroy this stuff or we can not and just go interrogate him. All right, how do I crouch again? Okay. Bonjour. All right, these guys aren't bad. Huh? Dear God in heaven. Any final words? I think this guy needs to leave. Take him. Your time. Come here, bitch. 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 Grab some cover. How's it going? Sit your ass back down. We going for a ride. Oh, let's go. Oh, who the hell are you? Kavar Construction. Tell me about it. Yep. Yep. I know. Ah, come on, we're almost there. Mr. Kavar just moved a shit there ton of go. stuff, and the money's just sitting there, waiting for somebody to take it. All right, we'll recruit him. Find a new line of work. <laughs> All righty, now we can go steal his money stash. All right, here we are. Let's get out and go fuck shit up. Let's get down. I'm gonna go steal this. She finally admitted it. He was there to put the dog down now and make sure he knows why. What the hell? Alright, take that. How you doing? Uh-huh. Some guys over here. You killed him! I fucking have to kill him! <laughs> you sons of bitches! You fucking punks! <laughs> I fucking vouch for you and Mr. Kavar, both of you pricks! I kinda wanna help you this guy. You think we find out? <laughs> Cocksucker. Hi. Put this thieving piece of shit in a hole next to his brother. Oh, I couldn't hey. save him! Come on, I was a little late. Can I do? I don't have any guns. Oh, fucking A. Uh, yep. Need to light up a target downtown. Help me out. You got it. We'll be around shortly. I just want them to cover me, that's all. <laughs> Behind you! Behind you! That ugly motherfucker before. Come get me, boy! That's the shit right there! Oh, what are you gonna do? Get that stupid! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need more fucking ammo. I got some more ammo. All right. Au revoir. We did good. I couldn't save that guy, man. I fucking waited too long. I didn't realize what was going on. All right. To the next one. Actually, let me restock on ammo. I'll see you later. All right, restocked. Now let me also get the vault lady over some here. Bread in downtown. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. Go take it to my vault. Just in case, you never know. Oh god. They must be drunk. Alright. Now we head out. Alrighty guys, here we are. 
We gotta go kill this guy. I guess we sneak around back. Here we go. Goddamn dealers. We're what? falling behind here. <gasps> Let's go. It's a we lot of them. Schedule to keep. Probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna investigate that. What was that? All right. Is that poor some bitch even breathing? No, he's not, Don't sir. Be if you did. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Shit, I'll do it myself. Yeah, come on. I'll get this guy off my ass. Huh? All right, look, add him to the pile, see? This is how you do it. All right. Stop slacking, come on! You don't want to put the effort in. I'll find someone. All right, now I kind of just want to burn these guys. Huh? Molotov! Ah! Holy fuck! Ah! 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 Here we go! Oh, Careful! Oh, oh, oh. Dipshit's trying to burn us up! Molotov! Get out of here! Fucking Molotov! What happens next, motherfucker? Think you know? Yep, I do know. Hey, I'm pinned. Out of Molotovs. Surprise, bitch. Anything else I can destroy here? Yes. I don't have any grenades. Oh, yeah, I have one more Molotov. Boom. Yeah. All right, we're good. Let's get out of here. All righty. Here we are again. I might get my boys on this one. Let's see. What we got? Actually, not a lot of them. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's get my boys on this one. Meet me a hit and run crew in downtown. You got it. We'll be around shortly. All right, time to fuck shit up. Oh, I should have restocked on my shit. Devil got you now, motherfucker! That works. Off the street. Off the street. All right, let me. Been a pleasure. Get my boy out here. I'm ready for a resupply downtown. Come on, dude. There we go. Jesus Christ. Alright, so that's done. We're gonna head to the next location. It's that too. Nah, you crazy bitch. God damn, he's coming like right around the corner. So how do I destroy? Bring down the crane. Ah, oh, right here. Making sure I'm not gonna see anybody else. The fuck? Get him! Ah, oh, fucking a, dude. That's some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, you see him? Run for cover. 
Hurry up, Lincoln. Come on, let's go. All right, run, 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 run. run. I spotted him. Move. Ish. You need Rose a great top hat guy. Is move, Lincoln. Yeah, he is. Ish. God damn it. All right, we run. There we go. Oh shit. There it is. Timber. Shit. Ah, oh, are they still fucking shooting me? Get the fuck away from me. Alright. You do that then. I'm getting out of here. All right, now we did enough damage. We can uh, head back to Lenny. Units in the area, please respond. Ah. All right, I'm out. Oh, Lenny, Lenny, I found you, Lenny. Kaval <laughs> Construction is a wreck. Uh, Mr. Kaval's really. Yes. P.O. Jimmy Kaval called. He's at the City Hall Construction site and wants to see me. He knows. I don't know how, but he knows I've been helping you people. He's gonna kill me, or I'm going to jail. Then he'll kill me. Oh, God. Go home to your wife, Lenny. Pack a bag, get out of town for a couple days. When you get back, this will all be over. You'll talk to Jimmy? <laughs> sure. Kavar's waiting for you. I'm gonna follow your advice. Get out of town. Okay. And we gotta go confront Jimmy. All right, let's just fuck some shit up. Um, let's call the arms I'm dealer. I'm downtown and about ready for a resupply. I'll hit you away now. Let's restock on health. And okay, don't hit me. <laughs> and ammo. See anything and then we'll call my boys. Boy. Didn't get All right. I'm Need to light up a target downtown. Downtown. No, All right. Burn shit up. What? He's over here! <laughs> oh shit. Sorry, man. Go, Lincoln, go! Oh, Come on, dude. There you go. Alright, go guys. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Alright. Get a hold of this. Got you now, dipshit. There we go. All right, where are the damn stairs? Where the hell are y'all? Are y'all not covering me in my back? Ton of them, guys, guys, guys. Just get to the phone. Hell, they fucking rush me. Oh my god, guys, where the fuck are you? Oh, there's so fucking many of them. Alright, 
Y'all better cover my ass, man. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Grab some cover. All right, I'm getting this guy. Now what are you gonna do? Circle round him. I knew there was gonna be more. They're gonna have to kill. All right, boy. I got you now. Pony D is gonna bury me. You hear? Bury me. Worrying about the wrong man, Jimmy. Oh, ow. You better be fucking gone. Now, maybe I should look over there. Woo, rackets and loyalty. Each underboss wants to improve their earns, so they'll offer you favors like weapons. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Oh, now I get to choose who I assign? Is that what they're saying? Yes. Shit, bro. Okay, so what do I get here? Money is not really something I'm worried about, but I get a silenced gun, silenced semi, or another silenced, uh, highly accurate equipment supply. Provide the arms dealer with equipment. See, Burke gives you the ability to restock on grenades, and I really want that. Uh, provide you with an extra adrenaline shot, clicks. Uh, I'll be able to shut down the phones for a short time. I think I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do Burke. I'm downtown. Need some help securing it. I know just the boys for the job. But I expect you to remember this next time we have one of our gatherings. All right. Good shit. Anyone who thinks Sammy Robinson was the Mardi Gras mastermind is a moron. And just because he was involved doesn't mean it was his idea. And none of the evidence ever added up. The money wasn't recovered, and Sammy didn't shoot himself in the back of the head and then burn down his own bar. The only reason people believe Sammy was behind it was his skin color. Damn. Oh, man, we unlocked C4. Hell yeah. Alrighty, guys, it's doing that weird glitch thing again, but I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.